Hello, Nidoray Nas and Nidoray Nos. I'm King Nido, and today we're coming from Lumio City, where the electric type yellows are hosting the delta type lentil Neos, and it is a battle of ninth versus tenth, with both these sides having four victories this season. If they can get their fifth victory here today, they will be knocking on the door of moving into the Elite Four. So, with that said, let us know in the comments below who you think is going to win this matchup. Will it be the electric types? Will it be the delta types? Let's go! Three, two, Right, these sides have been moving their way up the leaderboard as the Lentil ne Neos are coming in with three victories in a row. They're starting out with Ditto and Leafon. It is going to be Belly Bolt and Electivire starting out for the Yellow. Yellows who are coming in with two victories in a row, and with that imposter ability, Ditto is going to transform into a Electivire, but not just that, as that Terrastal Draft for the Lentil Neos, it is going to take on that stellar Terra typing that has the potential to sway things greatly for the Lentil Neos, and with those three victories in a row, over their last three games. They have been doing fantastic and they want to continue that here again today as that stored power from Leafon goes for Belly Belt. Not for a great deal of damage though, but Electivire follows up with the Dragon Rush. And I do not mean Electivire, sorry. I mean the Imposter Ditto going for Electivire as the real Electivire responds with the Magical Leaf, which is not very effective there. On to Leafon. Belly Bolt is going to go with the Bullet Punch. They're clearly focusing in on Leafon here. Maybe thinking it is the bigger threat, but Leafon responds by going for the Perish Song really early here in this match, but I do not know what it is thinking in doing so, but the real Electivite here goes with the Iron Defense, and maybe it needs to go on the offensive, but it is going to boost its defense a great deal here, as Ditto goes with the Doom Desire, choosing Doom as its destiny, and Belly Bolt is going to go with the Skitter Smack, smacking that Imposter around here on the field. Lowering Ditto's special attack in the process, but that Perish count is going to fall to three for everybody on the field. And this could be a really questionable play for Leafeon, or it could actually pay off depending on how things sway, but Leafeon goes with the flatter onto Belly Bolt now. So Belly Bolt is going to get a special attack boost, but it is going to be left in that confused state, and it does have that 103 special attack, but it needs to shake off that confusion first. However, the Bug Buzz from Ditto, and it is going to go for Electivire yet again. Electivire is able to hold on, though, by a thread and response with the role play, but unfortunately that is going to fail, and Belly Bolt needs to shake off this confusion, or it is going to be doing damage to itself, however it is successful, it goes for the Acid Armor, and it is going to boost its defense a great deal, but that Perish count is going to make it so those stat changes do not matter in two turns, somebody needs to make their way back to the bench to try and keep themselves in this matchup as Leafeon with the Grass Pledge on the Belly Bolt, gets in some good damage there as Electivire with the Bitter Blade going for Leafeon, almost gets the elimination, super effective there. And Electivire does have its health restored in the process. And we get the happy hour from Ditto, and I do not know what it is celebrating right now, knowing that that Perish song is counting down as Bellybot still in that confused state, yet again successful in shaking it off. Goes for the freeze dry onto Ditto and puts it into knockout range now, but it is that Doom design going for Electivire. And thanks to Electifier restoring its health, it is kept in this matchup, but it is put back in the knockout range as everyone's Perish Count does fall to one. Someone needs to go back to the bench if they want to stay in this matchup. Leafion going with the missed ball on to Belly Bolt. A critical hit, fantastic damage, lowering its special attack in the process. Electivire is going to go for the Blast Burn to take Leafion out of this match. That may have been a little bit excessive with that super effective attack, but still taking Leafion out. And Ditto with the Thrash going for Belly Bolt here, putting it in the knockout range, but Belly Bolt is also able to hold on as Ditto is going to chow down on its Leopard Berry. Having one last snack, it seems, as Bellabot will either take itself out of this matchup, but it is successful in shaking off that confusion that prevents it goes for the Forest Curse. That is going to fail, but what is not going to fail is that everybody on the field right now, Electivire, Ditto, and Bellabot, are going to be eliminated because that Perish Count that Leafeon set up has fallen to zero, which means we are going to have a game reset with four Pokemon remaining on both sides. This is still anybody's to take. 
but who will be able to capitalize on this reset as it is Glaceon coming out for the Lentil Neos. It's going to be Ampharos as the first Pokemon coming out for the Lumio Shellys. As Sylveon joins Glaceon on the side of the Neos, it's going to be Iron Hands joining Ampharos and Glaceon immediately going for the Fury Cutter. On the Iron Hands, very little damage being done there, but Sylveon does follow it up with the Syrup Bomb on the Ampharos. Gets a good connection there. But it has covered it in that sticky candy syrup that is going to slow it down. However, first Ampharos is going to go for the block, making it so that Glaceon can no longer escape. Not that it's looking to go anywhere. It wants to win this matchup. Iron Hands follows it up with the Sheer Cold. But Sylveon is able to avoid that attack. However, Ampharos cannot avoid having its speed lowered as Glaceon is going to go for the self-destruct. What are the Neos playing at here? Glaceon has just taken itself out of the matchup and it did more damage to Silver than it did to Iron Hands. Still got some good damage on Ampharos, but the Flame Wheel from Silver chipping away at Iron Hands there, who does respond with the Aqua Ring very intelligently set around in itself with that Veil of Water, making sure it will have its health restored. Ampharos is going to go for the Phantom Force, so it is going to vanish from this field as that health is restored here. By that veil of water on iron hands and Ampharos cannot avoid that sticky candy syrup even though it has vanished as it is Flareon coming out for the lentil nails and immediately it is going to go for the Terra Blast focusing in on iron hands getting some great damage there as well Sylveon needs to go for iron hands as well going with that stomp follow-up they are going for iron hands who does respond with the dire claw this will be super effective and it takes Sylveon out of this matchup the yellows are seemingly in full control as Ampharos finishes off that Phantom Force onto Flareon, gets a great connection there, as well as that health is restored for Iron Hands, which you have to think, do the Lintel Neos see it as the bigger threat? It is going to be Vaporeon coming out for the Neos, and immediately it goes with the Water Pulse, they're continuing to target Iron Hands here. Iron Hands is able to hold on by a thread, though Flareon could finish it off, goes for the Giga Drain onto Ampharos instead. Putting it into knockout range, both it and Iron Hands are hanging on by a thread in this matchup, but Iron Hands is going to go for the Wild Charge. This is going to be super effective, and it is a one-hit wonder. Vaporeon's out of this matchup, it's 4v1 at the moment. Flareon's by itself, but because of that ro recoil damage, Iron Hands is eliminated, but with a fantastic play in doing so, Ampharos follows it up with the Fissure. But Flareon is able to avoid that attack, thankfully, for the Neos, keeping it in this matchup. It is Electros coming out for the Yellows. We get the double team from Flareon. It is going to boost its evasiveness, and it is going to be need to avoid attacks as it is up against three Electric types as Electros goes with the Self-Destruct. But Flareon avoids it. It is now a one versus one matchup because Ampharos was unable. It has been taken out. Electros is taken out. It is Golem as the last Pokemon for the Lumero Shellos. What is going on in this matchup? Everybody is so reckless. But Golem, the Terrastal Drafty for the Lumero Shellos, taking on that Electric Typing, but it could capitalize on its well-known rock and ground typing over Flareon here. But Flareon does have that boosted evasiveness. And it's got the speed control immediately going for the circle throw. Gets in some good damage on Golem, who does respond with the rock throw. That'll be super effective, but it is afforded by Flareon, who is going to respond with the topsy turvy, which is going to fail. This opens the door for Golem to try and capitalize here, and it is going to go with the rest. Already? Is that exhausted? It is going to put itself back. It is going to put itself to sleep, so, and restore its self back to full strength but Flareon has an opportunity to capitalize here going with the bone rush this will be super effective it goes for the first one it connects it's got two it's got three and with that super effective damage it has done massive work on Golem here who is still fast asleep Flareon needs to continue this momentum to try and take Golem out of this matchup it goes with the dark void but some dark presence is presenting preventing Flareon from going for that, but Golem is still fast asleep on the field, so Flareon still with the opportunity to capitalize. It's going to go with the sweep, because this is going to leave the sleeping Pokemon on the field confused once it actually wakes up, and that's if it wakes up. And it has Golem is awake on the field. It needs to shake off this confusion, or it will be doing damage to itself, and that it does. It can't shake off the confusion. It does damage to itself. Yet again, Flareon can capitalize. It goes for the crush grip it puts golem into knockout range but golem has snapped out of that confusion and it is going to go for the liquidation this will be super effective and it eliminates flareon from this matchup flareon was able to work its way back from a 4-1 disadvantage but it could not get the job done golem 
doing its part for the Lumio Shallows, gets the victory even after taking a nap on the field and with that it does move the yellows up into seventh place as the next round they will be going up against the Medali Aethers whereas for the Neos they are still in 10th place but next round they are going up against the Mahogany Explorers but until then Nidorei Nars, Nidorei Nars. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on field. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe. But more importantly, always remember, you are awesome. And I'll see you when you see me.